Your name is Larry, Larry Laffer. You've arrived in beautiful lost wages without luggage. The airline lost it. Without a hotel reservation, you forgot to get one. And without a clue, you've never had one. You exit the cab. The hot, dry air of lost wages hits you in the face like a hard slap, a feeling not wholly unfamiliar to you. After your cab ride, you may be low on funds, but you've got the looks, the lines, and the leisure suit. You're in town to find true love. And if you happen to get lucky along the way, that's okay. After all, you're nearly 40. And still a bird... Still untouched by human hands. Look out, ladies. I'm finding love tonight. You deliberately scrape your finger on the sidewalk because it feels so good when you stop. It feels like a building. You prod the big guy. That there's muscle, kid. 295 pounds of solid muscle. It felt kind of squishy to me. That's called muscle control. You run your finger up and down her knee. Excuse me, did I tell you you could touch me? You said it with your eyes. Next time, get confirmation from my mouth first. Okay, loser. Ooh, so it'll be a next time? You take a seat on an available bar stool. Hello? What'll it be? I'll have a glass of your fine well whiskey. That'll be five dollars, please. You flip five bucks onto the counter. You don't drink the whiskey, but instead decide to carry it with you wherever you go, precariously balanced in an open shot glass. You are in a dimly lit hallway. The peeling wallpaper gives the roaches something to watch. Clutter fills the room, and a filthy drunk wearing filthy clothes sits on the filthy floor, leaning his filthy back against the filthy wall. Better not take it. Lefty is selling it to a chain restaurant that buys up hoarders' collections and nails everything to the walls. You remove your thingy and dangle it around the sign. Ouch! Those edges are sharp. Good thing I've got calluses. You proudly display your member to the trunk. Is that your wiener? Yep. Wow. I've never seen an any before. Spot. You know, you must be my only friend in the whole world. So uh, I'm gonna give you my only possess, my only possess, all I got in the world. Besides, what's a guy like me need with a coaster? I mean, what am I, high society? Yeah, baby.
score. Yeah, baby. You've got two choices. Hot. Oh, I hate making decisions. You start to wash your hands in the cold water. Then you realize that there's no soap. Then you realize that there are no paper towels. So you wash your hands as well as you can and wipe them on the back of your shirt, under your jacket where the wet spots won't show. <laughs> Buried under the usual skin mags are some real collector's items. One of them is juicy Japanese and Jewish. You carefully inspect the walls for sliding panels, hidden safes, and unusual pixels. You find nothing. You turn on the hot tap. Immediately, steam starts to chug from the spigot. Technically, steam is invisible. This is water vapor, but nobody likes a narrating smartass. You notice some writing in the mirror. Ken sent me. That could be important. I'll have to remember it. You grab a scrap of toilet paper and, cleverly chewing one of your fingernails to the quick, you scrawl the words, Ken sent me, in blood on the paper. You turn yeah. off the hot tap and the mist slowly clears. You grab an ancient copy of Flutter, the magazine of nude skydiving, and settle in to sit and think. You feel a great relief. What's that aroma? Carefully finishing your duties, you wipe and toss the newspaper behind the toilet for the next user. Don't do it, Larry. Too late. The toilet begins to fill. Realizing your mistake, you quickly jiggle the handle, attempting to stem the onrushing tide of water. As the water reaches your head, your life flushes before your eyes. You doze briefly. Turns out, a flush beats everything. Sometimes good manners are a bad idea, eh, Larry? Jeez, did something die in there? Hey, dork, you got toilet paper stuck to your shoe. <laughs> First rule of socializing, Larry, look at the person you're trying to engage with, particularly when they helped pay for you to be here. The one with the bottomless gut is Michael Hirschman. He's been coming to lefties for years, bending the elbow and running up a classically huge bar tab. He just paid it back, which is partly the reason Lefties is open tonight. Yeah? What's up? I was just looking for women. Well, you're looking in the wrong place. It's pretty much a sausage fest here. I mean, I'm pretty, but not that pretty, if you know what I mean. I sure do. No, you don't. You briefly, and for no apparent reason, flash Michael. He looks down at your setup. Well, that's half your problem right there. The whip-it-out-suddenly approach has never worked for you, Larry. Not in any of the 40 or 50 times you've tried it. Larry, have some decorum. You're in the presence of a master storyteller here. Lefty doesn't have time for any of your perverted contests. Be polite, Larry. Look at the man first. He's one of Lost Wages' finest benefactors. You rap loudly on the Nagahide door. Yeah? What's the password? You read off the strange password you discovered in the John. Uh, Ken sent me? Yeah, baby! Ah, you recognize this setup from a number of art films you've viewed. The gentleman before you is basically working the front desk. His employee is upstairs, waiting to provide quick expert services to a discriminating clientele. Since nobody seems to be using it, you glom the remote. Yeah, baby. None of the holes in the TV look the least bit enticing or safe. Hey, look at that. It's like a man's penis, only a lot smaller.
Bingo! You use the combination on the coaster to quietly unlock the cabinet. You dispose of the evidence by tossing the coaster behind the cabinet, where it's unlikely to be found for thousands of years. I'll never forget that number. It's burned into my memory, I think. Wait, what was it? Four something, right? You give yourself a quick... Got coming? Yes. Score one battery-operated, sleek, slightly sticky personal massager. Yeah, baby! at the TV and push the power button. Don't make me wistful. You wouldn't like me when I'm wistful. You've managed to turn on the TV. You've caught Prodigious P's attention, but he doesn't seem interested enough in the program to leave his post by the stairs. You aim the remote at the TV and push the channel button. Hey, don't touch your knob. We'll be back in two and two. Another boring game show. Prodigious P doesn't seem interested enough. You aim the remote at the TV and push the channel. What you are witnessing is real. The participants are not actors. They're actual litigants with a case pending in California Municipal Court. Another boring, real-life, prodigious pee. You aim the remote at the TV and push the channel button. And thank you for your support. You've been a brick through this whole thing. Another boring commercial for wine coolers. Prodigious pee. You aim the remote at the TV and push the channel button. What you talking about, Willis? Another boring sitcom. Prodigious P doesn't... You aim yeah. the remote at the TV and push the channel button. Please have your pet spayed, neutered, or both. Just to be safe. Another boring appeal to common decency. Prodigious P doesn't... You aim yeah. the remote at the TV and push the channel button. I love this razor so much, I bought the company. And this railroad. And two United States senators. Another boring infomercial. Prodigious P doesn't... You aim yeah. the remote at the TV and push the channel button. Oh. 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 Yes! Yes! Pull it out a little deeper! Huh? Alright. But this is wrong. For God's sakes, I am your accountant! Then give it to me 32% harder. It's a good thing that you did that, Larry. A very good thing. You sort of wished him into the porn field, didn't you? You carefully sneak the remote into Prodigious P's pocket, since you won't be needing it anymore. With Prodigious P presently preoccupied, you're able to proceed. This must be the place. Just so you know, if you're into peeking duck play, I need 24 hours advance notice. You start to pick up the candy. What are you doing with that? I'm sorry, did you want it? Sure, I wanted it. That's my candy. Are you sure? It might help me find true love. Well, I am a sucker for true love. Sure, what the heck. Take it. Take it and go find yourself some true love. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mazel tov. Yeah, baby! You open the window and climb out onto the fire escape.
Say, you might have a new career in dumpster diving. Hey, look at this. You pop up with one perfectly good hammer with just a little bit of mystery goo on the handle. Yeah, baby. Apples. App Here's a buck. I'll take an apple. Thank you, sir. Here you go. Um, ew. Yeah, baby. A sense of foreboding washes over your heart when your eyes slowly examine this dark alley. It seems to be just outside every public area in Lost Wages. Ow! No! Oh! Larry, didn't your mother ever warn you about going into dark alleys? Hey, Mac, where you headed? That'll be 16 bucks, please. Thanks, kid. You show your goods to the babe. Oh, it's like a toy one. How cute. She looks down at your equipment and starts to laugh. Hey, it's not supposed to be funny. Then why is there a clown nose on the end of it? Oh, sorry. That's just more of you. You flash Rodney. All power to you, man. It takes a lot of guts for an American male to stay uncircumcised these days. But I am circumcised. Oh, hmm. Maybe you should have that looked at. I don't know what the hell that is, but it sure needs ironing. Ah, uh, a long, long time ago I had one that looked just like that. You unzip in front of the dude. Oh man, why'd you have to do that? You're making me nauseous. I just ate it, Wiener Schnitzel. Larry, that could be you in 20 years, or much, much sooner. You don't look like you're having much fun. I know. I should go back to my regular job. What's your regular job? I sell software. I'm just in lost wages to try to find true love. Tell me about it. I just did.
It feels Your zipper seems to be stuck on hyperactive. Now that's a fancy elevator. It looks sleek and brand new. You take the piece of paper. Welcome to Chef Jeff's American Tavern Bar and Grill with the all-day, all-night buffet. TV chef Jeff Hillary's First Lost Wages restaurant features many of the signature dishes from his popular program. Kapwing! More onion powder! But oh no! Somebody has spilled 12 globs of food that aren't from the buffet! Can you find all the poorly hidden globs of extra food? Congratulations! You found a sample of Chicago-style food. A five-inch thick blob of underbaked pizza crust with bratwurst oil dribbled all over it. Congratulations! You found a sample of American Chinese food. Mugu Nuff said. Congratulations! You found a sample of good old American Midwest cuisine. Molten urinal cake. Congratulations! You found a sample of cozy Maine cuisine, Old Chum. Congratulations! You found a sample of Northeastern cuisine, New England Clam Chunder. Congratulations! You found a sample of American Southern cooking, Roadkill in a Dishwasher. Congratulations! You found a sample of the politically correct vegan's delight, Locally Discarded Kimchi. Congratulations! You found a sample of Nolan's Fair, fried green lunch meat. Congratulations! You found a sample of great traditional French food, Grim Brulee. Congratulations! You found a sample of Nouvelle Cuisine, deconstructed glop. Congratulations! You found a sample of Ludafisk. Congratulations! You found a sample of modernist cuisine, toast-filled ravioli on buttermilk froth. Congratulations! 
You win the Leisure Suit Larry Disgusting Buffet Hidden Object Game. You get a bottle of hot sauce. Yeah, baby. The diver holds her nose and points to your mouth. Wow, Larry, your bad breath is even penetrating the aquarium walls. You score the tank of helium. Yeah, baby. The diver holds her nose and points to your mouth. Wow, Larry, your bad breath is even penetrating the aquarium walls. The aquarium window has the crisp, fresh scent of acrylic and Windex. Larry, let's not show our crude side to the sea life. You step into the elevator and look at the fine selection of floors. You take the coveralls out of the bushes. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Jeez, it's good to be back on solid ground. You've been smoking a Slim Jim or something? Gee, son. Do you mind yeah, some gas or something just to cover up your breath? You stealthily snitch a large, fragrant jasmine blossom. Yeah, baby. Keep your hands to yourself, Larry. This isn't supposed to be an interactive display. I'll see yours, and I'll raise you both for mine. Taxi! <laughs> what the hell have you been eating? Rotten corpse with 40 cloves of garlic? Hey, bud, where we going? And that'll be 22 bucks, Mac. Thanks, kid. You can't just pee into the street like it was an oak Chicago. The last you wouldn't happen to be fixed for wine, would you? Nope. All right. Be that way. What is that? Your appendix? Welcome to the come and go. Please keep your hands where I can see them. Never in my life do I hope to smell anything again as vile as your present exhalations. Hardy Steen wine. I don't like it as much as Napa Valley Outhouse, but it is a bouillant and syrupy. Yeah, baby. You take the biggins, the most interesting magazine of the bunch. Yeah, baby. Thank you. Now please leave. There is no loitering. Your meat is not halal. We are open 24 hours for all your unsavory needs.
They carry condoms here, but they must be kept behind the counter. Let us be discreet about this. I understand you are interested in our birth control devices. Yes, I'd like one of your finest prophylaxatives. We have all manner of lovers for your stooping pleasure. What sort of lover are you preferring? What length would you like? What girth are you requiring? What texture would you like? What full finish would you like? What excess capacity do you require? What sort of lubrication would you like? What sort of scent would you like? Certainly, yeah, sir. There you go. Thank you. Hey, everybody! This perv just bought a steel belted radial Vienna sausage, spaghettini girth, sharpe, brushed aluminum, eyedropper capacity, caffeinated, old library scented lubber. What a pervert! Wait just a minute, Mr. Shoplifter. Come. Freeze! My aim is improving. Yay for me! Larry, you've always said that shoplifters deserve to be put out of their misery. Thank you. Now please leave. There is no loitering. Your breath is like sewage. Just saying. The bouncer takes the pass and scrutinizes it as closely as his overhanging brow will let him. Hmm. You're Rabbi Cornswig? Um, of course. Okay. Welcome to Club 69. Thank you. Shalom. Yeah, baby. Breath is like sewage. Don't drink this. Mouthwash is cheap. Look into it. Just in case you get a game to be thrown off of. Oh, look. Harvey Steen wine. You shouldn't have. Thanks for thinking of me. You're more than welcome. Hmm, syrupy. And reminiscent of a Manischewitz cream red Concord. I think I'll share this with my friend Chris. Maybe you know the guy. Kinda this tall, about this wide, brownish hair. I don't think I know him. Used to be a cabin boy. Lives next to the toilet in Lefties. Uh, yeah, maybe. Anyway, 
Here's a thank you from me to you. One of my prized possessions that I don't want. A genuine French army knife. Wow, yeah, baby. thanks! I wouldn't count on it in a fight, if you know what I mean. Thanks again. What the hell have you been eating? Okay, guy. Seventeen bucks, pal. Thanks, kid. How many dead teeth do you have in that mouth, anyway? Your breath is repug- repug- Your breath is bad. You deftly pluck the rose from the vase and carry it with you. Yeah, baby! How many dead teeth do you have? What the? Hey, just drive. That'll be sixteen bucks, please. Thanks, kid. Your breath is like sewage. Just say it. The bouncer takes the pass and screw. Hmm. Your rep. Um. Okay. Welcome to Club C. Thank you. Shalom. Right this way. The music in here is loud enough to kill the herpes. The crowd in back is an impenetrable mass of throbbing humanity, but the vibe up front is casual and inviting. Oh my god! Your breath is so grody! Come on, Larry, this is a classy joint. You can tell by the lack of moose heads. She'd need a microscope fitted with a telescope to see it. You go for broke and expose yourself to the lady. Gracious! I do believe the tip of your whatnot is showing. That's not the tip! That's the whole thing, baby! Boo! What a shame. Are you trying to show me something? Yes! Look! Where is it? Right there! I don't see anything. Me either! I'm just assuming it's there! You display yourself briefly. Ooh, you should have that thing looked at. Well, okay. But if I have to pay, they better do more than just look at it. Oh, look. It's fun-sized. She probably doesn't want to meet the monster. Don't sit down. How often do you get a chance to go to a place like this? Yes, Larry, she's stunning, but stop gaping at her. Her face smells like the rest of her. Soft, floral, and just a bit animal. Like many of nature's most accomplished predators. Her hair smells like wildflowers in a beauty parlor. It's those botanicals, man. They get me every time. Her arms have a scent that touches a man deep, deep down in his most primal recesses. <laughs> yeah. It smells a little like car polish. They smell like the promised land. Her arm... <laughs> yeah! Arm love is a very special sensual art that you have not yet studied. Given the situation, this is self-destructive behavior. 
You're undermining your own success. We'll discuss this at length during your next... Hey, sweetheart. What's your sign? Octagonal. As in, stop. I like that. You're fast. No, I'm not fast, but I'm worth every minute of the wait. Ooh kind of man. And I don't know if you're the particular kind of man who ends up getting a particular kind of woman like me. I'm not sure I follow you. Ooh, she's resisting gently. It's a come on. Keep going, Larry. If anybody can screw this up, you can. We could go to my... Assuming you... That sounds fun. Just as long as you're not cheap. I prefer men with means. Means? What kind of means? I like what any woman likes, Larry. I like flowers, I like sweets, I like jewelry. Can you get me those things, Larry? Can you get me everything I need to feel luxurious and free and totally ready to give you everything you always dreamed of? Everything? And more. You see, I'll do anything for the right man, Larry. Anything. Are you the right man? Yeah, Larry, baby. I just love roses. Oh, yeah, Larry, baby. I just love diamonds. Oh, Larry, I just love your presence. Dance with me, you adorable fool. And the crowd goes wild. Larry, that was incredible. I've never done that with a man before. It was so exhilarating. Are you as turned on as I am? Always. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I hope. Then my answer is yes. Oh, God, yes. Yes, Larry, I will. You will what? Why, marry you, of course. After all, I could never be with a man who wasn't my husband. Only if we were together in the eyes of the entire world could I really give myself to you completely, utterly, heart, soul, and body. I'll also need $200 to reserve the honeymoon suite at Caesar's Phallus. I'll wait for you here. Once you've got the money, we'll rush over to the wedding ready. And at long last, we can be husband and wife. Holy cow, Larry. It looks like your dreams are about to come true. Yeah, baby.